Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is framing and various kinds of framing methods in data link layer. Guys, I have uploaded complete computer network subject tutorials. I will provide that link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Data link layer will send our data from sender to receiver. Data link layer will not send our data directly to receiver. Instead, data link layer will place our data in frame and then complete frame is transferred to receiver. So, framing is like packing. Instead of sending our data directly to receiver, data link layer will pack our data in frame and then complete frame is transferred to receiver. Frames will handle error control and as well as flow control. Data is successfully transferred to receiver without any errors. This is meaning of error control. And whereas flow control means how much speed receiver can handle, only in that speed, sender will send data. This is meaning of flow control. So, data link layer will handle error control and as well as flow control by using framing. Whenever we send a data in a frame, we need to mark start point and as well as end point to our data in the frame. So, that receiver will understand where our frame will start and where our frame is ended. Yes, for example, I want to send message, how are you to my friend? So, whenever I send how are you, my complete data is not sent at a time to receiver. Instead, my data is given into various parts. We call each part as packet. So, how is one packet? R is one packet and U is one packet. And each packet is placed in a frame and then complete frame is transferred to receiver. As there are three packets, three packets are placed in three frames and then transferred to receiver. If you observe here, I am not including any starting point and ending point to our data which is present in the frame. So, whenever I send data without any starting point and as well as ending point, then our message will mix up and receiver will not understand our data. Receiver will receive data like this, which is not understandable to receiver. That is why we need to include starting point and as well as ending point to our data for each frame. Thus, we call start point and as well as end point as flags. So, we need to include one flag at starting of our data, another flag at end of our data. The same example, but instead of sending data without any flags, data link layer will include flags at starting and as well as at the end of the frame. For example, let us say hash is considered as flag. So, data link layer will include hash at starting and as well as at the end of the frame. So, data will be forwarded like this, where this is one flag and this is other flag. We need to include flags for each and every frame. As we are including flags for each and every frame, now receiver can read data correctly. So, whenever receiver receives each frame, receiver will decode that frame and then receiver will read that data. Decoding is nothing but whenever receiver receives each frame, receiver will remove flags and then receiver will read as well data. At first, receiver will read how and then R and then U. If you want to mark starting point and as well as ending point to your frame, then there are various framing methods available. And that first one is character count method. In character count method, first byte of the frame tells how many bytes are present in the frame. At first, receiver reads this number and then receiver will extract correct amount of data. I will give an example. Let's for example, whenever sender send a hello message, then character count method will convert data like 5 hello where 5 is nothing but count of these characters as there are total 5 characters H E L L O. So, whenever receiver receive data, at first receiver will read count and then based on count, receiver will read data. Thus, for example, sender will send hello btech. So, whenever sender send hello btech, character count method will convert data like 5 hello and as well as 5 btech and whereas this 5 is nothing but count of these characters and similarly, 5 is count of these characters. Hello, total 5 characters and as well as BTEC, total 5 characters. At first receiver reads 5 and receiver will understand that this frame contains 5 characters. So, receiver reads 5 characters. Similarly, receiver reads other frame as there are total 5 characters. Receiver extracts other 5 characters. So, receiver receives data like hello, BTEC. So, in character count method, first byte of the frame tells how many characters are present inside the frame and based on this number, receiver will extract and read data. This is all about character count method. Next, I will explain what is character stuffing method. The stuffing is nothing but adding extra characters to our data in order to avoid confusion. This previous hash example which I explained. 
that is example of character stuffing method so in character stuffing method we use special characters in order to mark start and as well as end of the frame this is example which i explained before where hash is special character we will mark special character its starting and as well as at the end of the frame when never receiver receive each frame receiver removes flags and the receiver will read actual data yes for example sender want to send message that is hello hash btech if you observe here my flag is hash and as well as message also contains hash so whenever message contain flag character then character stuffing method will include backslash symbol hash which is starting flag and then hello and backslash hash whenever character stuffing method include backslash receiver will understand that this hash belongs to message not flag and next btech and hash where this hash is flag and this hash is flag whenever receiver receive data receiver will remove backslash symbol and then receiver reads actual data so receiver will read hello hash btech this is all about character stuffing method stuffing is nothing but adding special characters at starting and at the end of the frame that's not only hash you can include any special character like at the rate percentage dollars and etc and if that particular character is present in message then we need to include backslash symbol that's it and last method is bit stuffing as previously character stuffing method we will add special characters and whereas in bit stuffing method we will add bits as flags bits are nothing but zeros and ones i'll give one example as for example sender want to send data like 100001 and whereas bit stuffing method will add some bits as flags as for example i'll take flag as table 1 so bit stuffing method will add table 1 and then actual message that is 100001 and again at last table 1 where this table 1 and this table 1 both are flags and whenever receiver receive data receiver will remove flags and then receiver will read actual message that is 100001 let's for example sender want to send one more data like 103101 if you observe here my flag character is triple one and as well as my message also contain triple one so whenever flag characters are present in our message then receiver don't know what is flag and what is actual data in order to overcome this problem we need to avoid flag bits in our data how can we avoid flag bits just we need to include zero that is extra bit zero after two ones so bit stuffing method will have flag that is triple one and then data that is 10 yes as well here there are triple ones so what bit stuffing method will do is bit stuffing method will add extra zero after two ones in order to avoid flag in our data so 11 and 01 instead of triple one bit stuffing method will add extra zero after two ones and then 01 now there are no flag characters in this data and again add flag at last so whenever receiver receive data receiver will remove flags and as well as extra zero and then receiver reads actual data that is 103101 that's not only triple one you can take any bits but that bits must not repeat in your data this is all about bit stuffing method guys instead of characters if you are sending bits as data then data link layer will use bit stuffing method 